Falling on your feet, do you finally see what you're missing? In today's video, I want to give you my honest thoughts about this new one and last one palette from Huda Beauty. Apparently, this is what it has created the big rumor and has made many people purchasing because she announced that this is her last eyeshadow palette in this format that she's releasing. I think she's going to come either with limited editions or maybe she's going to bring another type of uh, larger or largest eyeshadow palette. So we're going to see this in the upcoming future. But in today's video we're going to play swatch. Here is the package. I have not even opened it. I received it a few hours ago from Cult Beauty. I love the fact that Cult Beauty has changed their <laughs> way of packaging so now it's delivered in a envelope and it's more slim. I remember when they were putting everything in a big box. Here it is, the new Huda Beauty Icy Nude Eyeshadow Palette. So, love the packaging, just excuse my ring light. I've seen my friends reviewing it so I know what she looks like. But I just want to show you, brand new, without fingerprints, what this absolute gorgeous palette looks like. You have a big mirror, which I'm trying not to blind you with. And those are the shades. So you do get one, two, three, six or three, 18 shades. And this eyeshadow palette retails for $69. I believe the price is similar to the Natasha Denona, the midi palette, but I think we get more. Let me, let me grab, I have one here. Yeah, on Xenon we have five pans on the rose, so in total we have 15 shades. So 15 shades for $69 versus 18 shades for $69. So you get three more shades if this matters. I will include swatches. I just want to take a picture for my social media with the palette which is not swatched and then I will be back. It's been a while since I've purchased a big eyeshadow palette. I think I've gotten a few palettes but I did not specifically purchase them. I received them in trend mode or in other boxes but I think the last eyeshadow palette that I purchased intentionally was her two years back eyeshadow palette release. This is the Empowered eyeshadow palette. I was waiting to receive a new set of brushes from Beautylish. Didn't happen. Some um, custom clearance shit situations that need to be solved. So probably tomorrow on uh, the second part of the video when I will create another look, I'm going to have that. Because I already have the um, uh, foundation on, I'm uh, testing the new Catrice Invisible Cover Foundation and I also have concealer. I'm uh, not going to play too much today with the icy shimmery shades. I have already applied the eyeshadow primer. I have the Milani eyeshadow primer and I did my brows. And for my lips I have the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution, but it's not in Pillow Talk as you know me, but I have the shade Walk of No Shame. And stay tuned because I'm going also to try some new things that are very old actually, but they are new because I never used them. I'm going to use my old refer brushes, some of them are dirty. And wait, I have a brush cleansing spray from uh, Brushworks, so I'm trying to see which one I like best. I also have one from Dermacol. So after or in between, if I need, I will use this to clean my brushes. I am taking the shade Plunge because I have applied the eyeshadow primer a while ago and I did not set it. And this is more like a skin tone color. Oh, this is so pigmented. Next, I'm going to take the shade High Life, which is a matte taupey shade. I'm going to list the shades as I'm applying them and meanwhile I'm going to read you the deeds and specifications for this new eyeshadow palette from Huda Beauty. Get icy with our latest collection. Be an icy body and jump on the icy ice trend with our icy nude eyeshadow palette. Don't be afraid to break the rules by combining frosty silvers with cool burgundies. This palette features 18 shades of ultra pigmented shadows and innovative texture for fiercely confident looks. 
switching brushes, I am now going to take Refer 26, which is a pointy little brush. And I'm going to take the shade Unapologetic. Our icy nude palette is packed with innovative, buttery smooth, intensely pigmented shadows in various textures from bioliters and mattes to molten and sparkly shimmers in shades of silvers, grey, platinum, nudes, burgundies, pinks and whites for a total icy vibes. I'm also taking the shade High Life, the one that I applied first in the crease and run it on my lower lash line. I'm taking a Refer 02, which is a flat brush. So Refer right now they have site-wide sale. I think it will last until the end of uh, November and basically their brushes have the highest discount of the year. I'm going to take the shade Aurora. Oh my god, this is so gorgeous. I wasn't expecting to have this payoff because I didn't wet it. The inner portion, I'm going to use this shade. Platinum is the shade. They have one duochrome metallic, a shimmery metallic for a supercharged multi-chromatic glow, a biodegradable glitter for instant sparkle, two triochromes, luxurious crushed flakes for serious shimmer, and three false shimmers, 11 matte powerful pigments and velvety soft for a seamless sweet finish. This eyeshadow palette is made in Italy and has a shelf life of 24 months. With a smaller brush, this is Refer 03, I am taking faux fur and add that to my lower lashes. I will use the Refer 26 to blend this out with the High Life shade. Now I need eyeliner for my inner corner and I forgot to grab it, of course. I'm going to use this one by Swede, which is a silver eyeliner because I believe this works really well with the eye look. For my waterline, I am going to use Gillian Dempsey liner, but I'll just use it for the half part to give a bit of a dimension. Returning to the part that I was telling you about, I want to try a new product for me. So two years ago, I purchased from Sephora the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Duo. So we have a liner and a mascara. The liner is coming in this packaging because I have gone through my Mecca by Mario liner. Hopefully she's not dried out. It's very slim. Okay, let's see what she applies like. Love the brush. Unfortunately for us over 40 ladies, when you want to do a wing, you need to use your other hand to help. So I'm going to drag the wings and I will be back. I want to say that rumors are real. It's so, so easy to use and also it's matte, it's sleek, so it gives you some hold, some grip to the product. It's a brush end, but it's very easy to draw a wing. Also pigmented, but not that pigmented to make mistakes, so the saturation is perfect. Meanwhile, I also curled my lashes using the Refru eyelash curler, which by the way, it's also on sale. And now I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Universal Volumizing Mascara. I have had this mascara prior. I'm going to use this mirror, which is from Flower Nose. So this is the brush. You cannot tell so much when you have eyeliner how mascara looks. It's not that visible, at least don't see, but you can tell the difference from the eye where I don't have mascara to my eye where I have. And I have started using Grande Lashes, but I just got, got the small size. For two years, I gave up on using lash enhancing serums. And I feel that when I was checking my older videos, my lashes were so long. I don't suffer from volume, but I suffer from length. So I said, okay, maybe just for a while I want my long lashes, but I'm so out of the trend of using lash enhancing serums. 
This is the first look using the Icy Nude Eyeshadow Palette by Huda Beauty. I will come back tomorrow to create another look for you and also to wrap up my thoughts about this eyeshadow palette, so don't go away. Hi guys, I am back again in the second day of testing the new Huda Beauty Icy Nude Eyeshadow Palette and I also have a new set of brushes to try on. Actually, those are not the brushes that I was waiting. I was waiting the one from the ones from Sonia G from the set Mini Kayaki. And this is the new Sodo or Shodo or I don't know exactly how to pronounce that collection. And here they are. Ah, yeah, 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 because I also ordered another brush. This is a prototype brush for concealer. So maybe I could start with this one. So this is the brush B05. Now I already applied the concealer, but it looks like similar shape to the BK Beauty NG Hatton Flashy, but slightly smaller. And I think it's blend of natural and synthetic. Very excited to try this one. Maybe for the part two or part three of my foundation review, which I'm also working on that video. But for today's video, we are going to play with Sodo 00, which is a blending brush, but it's not that round, so you can also use it to pat your eyeshadow. Sodo 02, which is similar to Refer 13, just Revra 13, it's not that pointy. And the last brush, it's Sodo 03. This looks like your typical crease blending brush. Oh guys, and I want also to give you an update that the brush cleanser that I was so excited about, the one from the Brushworks, it's not good. It's not that terrible like the one from ELF, but this one, the Dermacol, I don't know why I'm hurt. I tried another one. Of course, I wanted to give you some options, guys, because you cannot get the Dermacol everywhere. So, unfortunately, yeah. I have started by applying the Milani eyeshadow primer. And for the rest of the products that I have on my face, I'm going to list them down below. So you are going to see day one and day two. And today I want to do one look for each eye. Of course, I'm going to start with the shadow or Sodo brush 03. And I'm going to take the shade cold plunge. I always start with my right side, of course, because I'm right-handed. Yeah, this is not a good idea to use this brush for that purpose. This is a Sonia G Builder S. I think this shade might work best if you just wet it and there is some fallout. So this look, it's slightly more soft, I would say, but I'm not a big fan of the fallout. I will use the Diamond Dew shade. It's almost wet. Oh my God. Use some spray. Oh yeah. So you saw what I did. I applied this Diamond Dew sparkling shade on top of the yellow shade and it looks absolutely gorgeous. This is what it looks like. I won't change it, I'll leave it like this. I will finish this eye with liner and mascara and I will come back just to see the first final look. This is the final look on the right eye and now for the last look of today I will try to use whatever shade have been left not used. This shade is very, very light, so not sure if it is a good idea for the transition. Mm. 
One thing about those shades is that they blend really nice. I would have to fix the outer V, but this is what it looks for the moment. I will apply a bit of a setting spray after I've loaded with it. Oh, that has such a beautiful purple shift. It's really pretty, actually it's not too much. I will intensify a little bit the outer V with the same brush Sonia G, but I'm going to take the grey shade called Poised. This is the final look on the left eye. So what I did, I have applied this Kiko Milano liner. I have used a combination of the burgundy and the black shade on the eye to define an eye. On the lower lashes, I have used the burgundy shade. And I wanted to use this on the inner corner, but it doesn't look so well. So I just left the inner corner as it is. I have applied a few coats of mascara and also what I did, I have applied a gloss on top of my lipstick. But yeah, now everything is finished. So please let me know which one of the three looks that I did in today's video are your favorite. Look number one, look number two or look number three. At the end of the video, I want to Quickly wrap up my thoughts about this new Icy Nude eyeshadow palette from Huda Beauty. Do I love it? Do I enjoy it? Do I regret buying? Kind of. I could have waited for it to go on sale. But it's an all well rounded palette. It's not bad. For example, like I mentioned yesterday or on the first part of the video, I have another palette from her that I cannot use it too much on my eyes, the empowered palette, because most of the shades, they do not create contrast. Meanwhile, those, I can see myself creating contrast because I have a bunch of darker shades, I have a bunch of medium shades and a bunch of lighter shades, plus the special shades that can create several fabulous looks, I would say. So there is still room to play with this eyeshadow palette, but overall I like it and the quality of the shadows honor the name of Huda Beauty. So I, I loved everything that I tried. I cannot see any doubt on the quality of the shadows. All of them are performing nicely. I think I have only one or two shades that I didn't use and I forgot to let you know my thoughts or my first impression about the new Sodo, Sodo brushes, whatever they are called, from Refre. This was the first time when I used them and I would say the, the format of the bristles uh, remind me very awfully of Wayne Gass brushes. I do not have too many brushes from him, from the eye collection, but those shapes remind me of uh, when gas. However, you have to wash and uh, let them dry and use them again to have a full experience and overall performance when you are using especially Fude to have a um, thorough review. So I'm going to use them for sure in or outside camera and I'm going to let you know how I'm enjoying them. But for the first impression, they are okay. And other than that, I hope you have a fabulous day. And other than that, please stop saying all the time other than that. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch. And I'm going to see you really soon with another video.